welcome you all to The Gateway. The Gateway is a video podcast directed and hosted by staff members of Somerset Community College's student newspaper, The Bridge. This is The Gateway. Hello, SCC, and welcome to The Gateway. I'm your host, Eli Parker. And Miguel Sanabria, managing editor. And, oh, I was going to say, and with us today is Mr. I'm Brandon Pointer from Active Minds. And Mr. Co-President there. Thank you very much for joining us. And I do want to apologize for the little mix-up last Wednesday. I was sick and I didn't even know you were coming, so that was a little surprise there. Yeah, um, you know, I showed up here and uh, that's all right, though, because I, I don't live too far away and my co-president, you know, totally forgot about the date, too, so... <laughs> You know, it's okay. At least we're getting it done today. Heck yeah. Getting it started today. And yeah, we're back started. and better than ever. So let's break the ice here a little bit, uh, Mr. Pointer. Brandon, I'll call you Brandon. Um, so tell uh, tell us about uh, yourself with the college. Like, is this, what year is this for you? Uh, this is actually uh, my first year. Uh, I tried going back in 2012, but anyways, <laughs> it's my first, you know, first year seeing it through com- completion and everything um so yep so nice what are you going for uh right now my uh my major is uh business and uh, business administration and management um i'm thinking about switching it over to 3d printing oh yeah that's a good one that's a really good one it's just something i'm interested in Mm -hmm. highly so i have a buddy that has a certificate in that so i highly recommend right there are you thinking of possibly transferring, like with the business, if you go that route? Uh, yeah, I've thought about transferring. I, I just don't. I haven't got a school in mind yet mm-hmm. where to go to um, after my time is up here. Oh, yeah. But, but you like SEC okay, right? Oh, yeah. Well, that's I love awesome. SEC. Awesome. Now, but we brought you here today to talk more about the, the baby, the, the one I'm calling the baby, Active Minds. So. So uh, I'd like to start off by uh, what was involved in the organization besides yourself? We have uh, quite a few staff members, uh, actually, and um, <clears throat> quite a few members. Uh, we got about 50 or so uh, people signed up for Active Minds, but um, it's I and uh, Sherry Morris here at SEC, uh, first year college student, uh, Angela Swim. She's actually. Um, you know the person that actually got the ball rolling yeah um on everything she had been trying to set everything up for a few years now but mm-hmm. then COVID uh struck and mm-hmm. kind of uh took her plans and you know dashed them but mm-hmm. we're back uh running full steam um and let me see Megan Weatherford is another uh is another faculty member yeah from the psychology department too yeah yeah um, there's a few other people, um, faculty-wise, and uh, a lot of students have signed mm-hmm. up. Like I said, about 50 of them. Oh, dang. Uh, we've got signed up. That's great. That's great. Awesome. awesome. Here in awesome. Laurel Campus. Mm-hmm. That's fun. That's awesome. But, and say, Nicole, she's the representative there. Yep, yeah, Nicole now. Flannery. Mm-hmm. And I say, I know her because I've been working with her through the stage reading that. Sherrison's directing going on, but um, I digress with that. But dang, that's great to see because you all, when was like the official day you all started? Well, uh, let's see here. I guess it would, it would be uh, October, I want to say 15th or so, uh, about two weeks after uh, our October started. Mm-hmm. We, uh, we really got the ball rolling, but we haven't had our first meeting yet, mm-hmm. so we're still ironing that out, and we're 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 getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. Oh yeah, but you already got fifty people signing up. That's, That's already great. phenomenal That's awesome. for about a month, probably not even a full month yet. Yeah, fifty people. I I'm loving the energy. You know? <laughs> I'm loving the energy everybody's awesome. uh, gonna throw into the group here. Mm-hmm. To say it's been cool for me because like I was there the meet because it was all I would hear about it all the time on the SGA meetings or leadership meet I think maybe both but I was like in the meeting the day because I think it was Angela Swim representing you all 
Mm -hmm. or we took the vote to make Active Minds official on campus, and we were there for the vote. I took part in it, and that's when it was born, officially. It was really cool to be there to witness that. I, uh, unfortunately, the SGA means they're always at 1230, so <laughs> I have to miss them because I have a class at 1230 to uh -huh. 145, unfortunately, so I don't think I was there for the vote, but... Well, it happened, though, nonetheless. Hey, we got it through. You did get it through. I saw no opposition. Heck yeah, awesome. Now, I've been talking about, well, do I have it? Okay, we can get into that later. But let's talk about uh, what is Active Minds for those that don't know. Active Minds is just, we're just eliminating the stigma around, you know, uh, just any mental illnesses that would be shot black in the past or, you know, kind of thrown underneath the rug or towards the back or just neglected, frankly. Um, we're just, you know, telling people that it's okay, you know, to come talk to us. You know, it, it's okay to not, not be okay, you know? Mm -hmm. Everybody goes through stuff in life. We all have problems and stuff, and I'd rather you come and talk to them, or talk, talk to me, or talk to any of my fellow members about any problems you might be having in life, problems with school, anything, any kind of problem. You know, we're, we're just here to listen, you know, really uh, make people feel comfortable, not you know, shut them away, not neglect them, not make them feel ostracized or anything like that. Just give them a nice, you know, caring place to come vent problems, whatever you got, you know, just come and uh, come talk about it, mm -hmm. you know? Definitely. And you mentioned you all like plan out meetings. How are those, like, how are those formatted the meetings? Honestly, um, Without having our first one, uh, not really for sure on that one. Um, I've kind of debated within myself, uh, you know, what I would like to see done on the campus as far as like reaching out to students and making sure they're okay and stuff. Mm -hmm. But as far as meetings go, um, I just imagine um, we'll have to do part of it virtual because we got Laurel Campus. Uh, mm -hmm as part of this and but as far as meetings go um, you know I kind of want to see uh, what everybody else has to bring to the table what everybody else else's ideas for the group is um, I put a lot of thought into it like what I would like to see done but it's ultimately ultimately led me back to um, you know, basically just asking the group and asking uh, where they want to go, uh, what kind of direction they want to see um, this group go towards. That's awesome. Very student driven, it sounds like. We're, we're trying, we're trying, mm -hmm. we're trying. You got, hey, you got at least 50 people you can get voices from, so. Yeah, okay, yeah there's 50 different opinions. Than 50 own. different there opinions, you heck yeah. There you go. There you go. So next, my next question would be, uh, how and why was it uh, founded here in SEC? Like I had uh, touched on previously, uh, Miss Angela Swim had actually been trying for, for a while now to get this group up and going. And, um, heck, I had, uh, I had messaged my uh, professors one day and uh, I was, you know, I, I was in some, some mental duress and uh, I had asked for an emotional, you know, just an emotional health day, mm -hmm. all right? And then I had uh, took it one step further. I called the school and I said, put me through to the top and it put me through to the SEC president. And she uh, she was like, well, I got the, uh, the perfect person for you. I'm gonna put you down. Uh, I'm gonna connect you to Angela Swim. Mm -hmm. She's been, uh, wanting to start this program called Active Minds. Mm. And <clears throat> I started talking to her and it was exactly, exactly uh, what I would like to see the students here have available, the resources and stuff. So yeah, I, I really owe it all to Miss Angela Swim. Oh. And she was the, 
she was the one who really got the ball rolling. And I had, I just found her by by the sheer luck. <laughs> sheer luck. Heck yeah. Sometimes coincidences, it doesn't seem like they happen for no reason. So that's awesome. That's true. That's true. And since Sherry's not here, uh, how does she get involved? Because you're both co-presidents, so what was her impact with yeah. this? Uh, uh, Miss Angela had actually uh, helped Sherry out previously. I can't remember uh, exactly what she was helping her out on, but Sherry had found out that uh, Angela was putting this uh, group together. She's more than happy to jump right in. <laughs> more than happy. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you've had so much support and people really driving into this. That's awesome. I am. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised to see the level of support myself. You know, there's a <laughs> lot of people. And there's a lot of people that ain't that are advocating for our group. So did you have like any expectations prior? Because I felt like you saying you were surprised indicates, oh, they're a little low. Like, oh, maybe not a lot of people would be interested. Yeah, I, you know, not not everybody's into, you know, helping out everybody and trying to make sure everybody's okay. I mean, I get it, I get it. Um, I just, I, I didn't think we was gonna have this big of a turnout. Uh, for real, um, sure, it surprised the heck out of me. Uh, <laughs> but I'm loving the energy. I'm loving the support that everybody's bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. All the all the boots on the ground that we got. You know, uh, there it it really warms my heart just to see everybody kind of you know fighting towards the common goal here, mm -hmm. getting that stigma eliminated around mental illnesses and stuff like that. Oh, that's awesome. And do you think COVID's played a big part in why this was established also? Because I'm sure a lot of mental stress has come from this pandemic. Yes, the pandemic, uh, this has brought a lot of stress for a lot of students mm -hmm. not used to, you know, being trapped inside their houses and not used to, you know, not going to school and seeing all the people all the time, you know, you get isolated, you get in a certain mindset sometimes, and um, I tell you what, it's, I know it's been stressful for myself, I'm sure it has been for y'all too, but now that we're getting out of this, I'm, I'm happier that we're getting out of the COVID, you know, mm -hmm. we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh yeah. But, yeah, there has been a lot of stress brought on due to the pandemic. And I'm hoping after, you know, the pandemic's over, you know, that stress from, from the pandemic alleviates. Oh, yeah. So it'll open up a new set of challenges. Oh, definitely. Just to be honest, yes. <laughs> I'm sure there's some people that get so accustomed to the COVID stuff, and then it's like, oh, my world is upside down now that... COVID's gone. Yeah, some some people do better than others being locked down. Oh, forever, definitely, you know? definitely. Some funny, people yeah, do better. Yeah. Say a funny little tidbit here. My roommate, uh, she went to Lindsay Wilson, and then she got so accustomed to doing online classes. But then when she went back and they were starting to do more in person, that actually stressed her out. So <laughs> funny how that works. I actually, uh, I, I ended up with the same ordeal because I... I had signed up for the year previous and all in in person classes, but then COVID came around, everything went online. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm an in person learner, so mm -hmm. that one uh that one really hurt. Oh yeah, I can imagine. So, wasn't able to do the, the classes the last semester, but back on it this semester. That's awesome. That's just a sign that things are opening up again. Mm-hmm. Which I'm glad to see. I'm really glad to see. I think many of the students here are very glad to see that. Yeah, I'm, I am not one to be locked down by myself, you know. <laughs> I am not one for it. Oh, no, no, no. Now, to kind of go bigger picture, this isn't the main focus, but Active Minds is actually a part of this big national organization. Yes. And um, I looked on the website for a profile I'm doing, and just the like the founding origin story of it was really fascinating. You want to yes. share that? Yes. Um, the founder of it, uh, her brother died mm -hmm. uh, from suicide, and 
Well, that's led her uh, to start a nonprofit organization and Act of Minds, uh, which is branched out to, I believe it's over 800, uh, 800 chapters. And um, so that's, that's a really big difference. Mm -hmm. That's a really big difference for her. Um, to have, you know, so many people uh, wanting to get involved, wanting to talk about stuff, wanting to get, you know, everything out there in the open, uh, get resources for the students and the kids and stuff, you know, get all these resources all compiled into one place, which is really nice. Um, no, it was good to see, like, because it started, what, what, uh, where was it, Pennsylvania? Was that where it started? I believe so, Pennsylvania. Is, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Well, I, the point is that, like, it started so far off now, and it's finally reached SEC, which is probably needed for who knows how long. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I didn't know what it, exactly SEC was doing, you know, for mental health. Mm -hmm. and, um I didn't really know that we uh, we didn't have any like counselors here mm -hmm. or anything like that. But that one struck me as a little odd, but mm -hmm. um, at least with this group here, you know, there's resources, mm -hmm. there's resources, 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 plenty of them, you know, for people to talk, get the problems aired out, stuff like that. Mm -hmm, of course. That's huge, especially. In this environment, you know, the students are very, very um, important. Mm -hmm. We have students of all ages, you know, thinking about yeah. the youth coming out of, out of high school, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of them are first year students, first generation students. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, for this to be at the, at the junior college level speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Because yeah. it's that's enough for success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where the chapter goes, you know course when I have to depart from the school you know mm -hmm. I'm I'm excited to see you know the future students come in take mm -hmm. it over and you know basically just keep doing the right thing and yeah. being nice to people listening to people mm -hmm. and stuff like that I'm very excited to see where the, where this chapter goes at SEC that is awesome like, no joke my heart was warming up when you were saying that oh my gosh about to wring tears out of me but yeah, that'll be sweet for you to pass the torch on. But hopefully you don't leave too soon, though. <laughs> no, st we still need you. SEC still needs you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've still got, a, still got a, you know, a whole lot to do. A whole lot to do as far as this chapter is concerned, you know. <clears throat> we got to have our first meeting and all that yeah. good stuff. And basically got to see, you know, what exactly everybody want, wants from this chapter. You know, like where they would like to see you go, you know? That's awesome. Yeah, I see you're very hopeful now after being surprised by how many you're involved. Now you're like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. It, you know, I was blindsided. I was blindsided <laughs> with the support. I really was. I really was. It was awesome. Just how to get involved in stuff, you know, you can reach out to uh, me, uh, Brandon Pointer, or Sherry Morris, or Angela Swim. But um, there's a website called activeminds.org, which has a lot of valuable resources and information for uh, joining the, the chapter, uh, like the nationwide chapter. Um, but here locally at SEC, you can reach out to Angela Swim or Megan Weatherford or Nicole Flannery, Sherry Morris, me, you know, just reach out to somebody. And uh, we we can get you going with it. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, where do y'all where do y'all meet? Y'all have like a office oh, yeah. campus. We're working on a room. There's a there's a building getting re redone over oh, there. Oh, the Union Building. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, so we're gonna have a little space in there whenever they finally do get it set up. Okay. Hopefully, we pretty do. soon. That's been a long term project right there. So I've heard. Yeah, but I've seen <laughs> so the meeting room though. It's a really nice room they're putting together. So that'd be a great space for you all. That's awesome. Yeah, we're. I, I think we're going to be, you know, one of the first ones in there as soon as they, they get it all, you know, smoothed down and everything over there. Mm -hmm. 
And also, I'd like, oh, what were you going to say? Um, as far as, okay, so you haven't had your first meeting yet, but do you have an idea of, like, what day you all will be meeting? Oh, yeah. Times, things of that nature? Or are still up in the air? It's still up in the air just because you, um, I want to make sure, you know, I can get, I can be as inclusive as possible mm -hmm. with everybody, you know, mm -hmm. make sure we can get the most people lined up on that on that day but uh mm -hmm. yeah it's still up in the air you think it'll happen this semester oh yes yes oh that's yes awesome. yes it that should awesome. happen this semester very good oh, yeah. me and uh angela swim we're we're actually uh we're supposed to meet up virtually or in person uh here later this week i imagine that's probably what we're going to be talking about mm -hmm. Very good. And that's that makes me think of another question. Do you think it'll be mostly online or will it be in person? I'd like to see mostly in person, you know, boots on the ground, yeah. making sure everybody, all these students are okay. But, um, you know, for right now with COVID, um, some of it could be done virtually mm -hmm. uh, via Slack or uh, Microsoft Teams. Um, we're getting uh, a Blackboard uh Collaborative. Oh, All right. awesome. so yeah, awesome. yeah, we're gonna have a little tile on there eventually. <laughs> awesome. So, awesome. Very good. Very good. So you all yeah. are bringing a lot to the table. By golly, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah we're we're trying. <laughs> yeah, it shows. <laughs> we're trying to uh, we're trying to get that stigma stigma up and out of there. Oh, definitely. Know? And I can tell there's definitely a lot of passion behind this project. Yeah, I've got a lot of personal pad passion um, mm -hmm. I just like helping out people in general you know uh, I really like helping out people <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's always been a good point for me to you know help out people and it makes me feel good it makes them feel good and <laughs> oh, you know right. you can't beat it can't oh, no. Can't. no the world needs more people like you if anything that, with that <laughs> attitude at least that's yeah, awesome and, yeah. Really awesome. Bright future ahead, man. Thank you. Very bright future. Mm -hmm. Very. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. I mean, sometimes I can't see it, but you know, mm -hmm. got to stay on track every day, and this, you know, taking on this personal pro uh, project, you know, taking on this chapter, it's, it's really giving me a lot of, a lot of hope, a lot of hope, you know, for myself, and well, heck, for the future, you know, generation. And mm -hmm. There you go. Seeing all these, all these younger people, you know, getting involved and stuff, yeah. I'm loving it. I'm sure, loving it. Sure. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Do you see a lot of, like of the people that have signed up already? Are they kind of fresh out of high schoolers or? Ma majority of them, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dang. Majority of them, uh, you know, I would say uh, below mid twenties. There, you know, fresh out of high school, mm -hmm. which, hey, their energy. We'll take, it. <laughs> yeah, there you we'll go. take it. And, uh, we'll take it. And we'll we'll do some good out here. Yeah, we will. Awesome. We will. Yeah. That is awesome. I want to I want to leave you with a quote. And it's kind of a it goes along the lines of what you're doing, and that service to many leads to greatness. So continue to serve others, and mm -hmm. your what you want will happen. I plan on it. You know, I've, I've always kind of. I don't know where it comes from, but the servitude, you know, kind of helping people out, it's always yeah. been with me. Thank, thank you all for having me on. Thank you all for spreading the word. Oh, no problem at all. It's our pleasure. And speaking of spreading the word, we're hoping that, well, we are anticipating having a profile that gives out the more specifics and just the names of people involved with this. So look out for that. Um, is it Wednesday or Thursday that's being released? Thursday. Yeah, should be around Thursday. So keep an eye out for that. And with that said, thank you for very much for joining us. And thank you all for watching. For more information on SEC Student Newspaper, The Bridge, or the Gateway Video Podcast, email us at secthebridge at yahoo.com or contact one of the course advisors. This is The Gateway, signing out.